A single leg for Zinkin. He is in. Uh, and Zinkin's so fluid as a freshman, being able to be on his feet. He's very comfortable in his top position as well. Yeah, he's he's solid from every position. Um, I saw his Clovis match, and like you said, there's a shot attempt by Zinkin, defended by Bobs, and brings him out of bounds, and they'll go back to the center. Still two to one, and there's about a minute 30 left. Low single attempt by Zinkin. There's short offense now for Bob Zin. And Zink two takedown Zinkin. Four to one to score. Zinkin with a tilt. And there is a roll through tilt for no two count, no Zinkin. Can't quite Zinkin secure it, but a takedown makes it four to one. So hat runs multiple angles from here. He's got three different tilts. Oh, we're in a nice little sitting position. That's a big two points there, Brian. You know, it's funny. That's a position that if he actually hung on to, he probably would have been able to get back points off the reversal. But either way, he brings it within a one point match with 35 seconds left to go in the first period. Yeah, he's got to be careful. That's close to a full Nelson. The official taking a real good look at it. And we got a phenomenal official. Randy Hartman is one of the best. Here. He's got his shoulders turned. The hips come next. Nine seconds left. Short time on the clock. This one's going to end the first three to two. Excuse me, four to three. But what an incredible win this would be for Pauly if they can knock off the number one ranked 106 pounder in the in the excuse me in the state. And not to mention, getting the crowd, the local crowd involved. I mean, you're in your own home gym. You're wrestling the number one ranked kid in the state as a freshman, and you do that, and now you've got that four three lead. We have to reset the score at two minutes. Scores finally. Time is the problem here, so give it one second. And Everybody's nervous here, Mike. I yeah, I guess so. We're set. Four or three is the score to begin the second period. And Boxing hard and chop to the left top. for Zinkin. Again, Rockman loves his arm bar. He'll wing it up, he'll bar it up, he'll claw it from there. He's got a tilt, and he actually runs a near side. They call it kind of a. Um, Zinkin working a head level, Boxy is sitting out. Zinkin out, attempting. They call it a silly tilt at Buchanan. Uh-huh. There's and the and he switches off to an Anderson here, possibly. And arm free, up in a rear standing. Great return by Zinkin. And there's 125 left and two boots in. Trying to power half. Again, Rockman. Only a freshman currently ranked number one in the state. There's a power half on the left hand side. He's darn close to, he's 90, but he got to be 45. So one of five left here. And Bob Zine does a great job of trying to belly out. Zinkin reinforces that with a wrist on the far side. Six seconds left Double in the boots, second period. A lot of pressure on that. He switched off from the half, and now he's trying to work that arm across the back. Zinkin now a bar and a wrist. It's a different situation. Zinkin now he's outside front. Right the bar, Bobsy and Kennery. So, bar on the right, wrist on the left, and this is the position that Zinkin got in trouble with last period. He got a little overzealous on that that bar ride. Bobsy is attempting to do a great job on the stand up here. Feet. Now he's going to get on that hand control. Stop. Potentially dangerous hey, I gotta tell you something, Brian. This whole sport's potentially dangerous. They could have let that one go. It would have been all right with me. I'm sure it would have been all right with Mrs. Bobsey. 20 seconds left. 4-3. Half Nelson on the left-hand side. Bar on the right. Boots go in. 12 seconds left. And, and he's at least two. Probably a full set of three. And that brings it from four to three to seven to three. 
So, Bob Zeen has an interesting neutral is the call for Zinkin. And wrestlers in the neutral position to start the third round. This is short offense. Yeah, there's a small issue with the with the clock. I'm sure it's technical and not a user error at all. So what a great crowd here. Yeah, we got score should be nine to three right now. And we got it right on the graphics because we got the illustrious Jordan Barker. Yeah, he's taking care of Matt side control here. Matt side control, but on the uh, score clock in the gym, it still reads but, wow. you know, you have redundancy. He actually stepped up out of his own chair, walked over to the local guy here in the gym, told him it was 143, told him it was 93, and we're going to be back to action. It's good to have good people around you. Okay, score is down 9 to 3, third round. All right, we are set, underway, neutral position. They're going to let them cut them, so nine score is 9 4 now. Into, in on a leg and roll through cradle. And Zinkin has him in a world of trouble. Zinkin was very comfortable on his feet. He hadn't surrendered a takedown, so he gave He catches the leg. He's got a leg caught. Oh, he brings it through. Oh, my goodness. Still on that near side is Zinkin with 120 left. He's going to look to stud it up. He's got that near side knee shelved almost like he's picked it up. Yeah. Boy, oh boy. Roxy doing a great job controlling. Minute, he broke the lock. five seconds. He's going to get the three near fall here. So that should be 12. We should be 12-4. 12-4. Near fall. Fifty seconds. Third round. So down under a minute here. And. Zinkin has a bar arm out to the right, hammerlock. It is a near side wrist on the left hand side. So Zinkin doing his absolute best to quiet this Titan crowd, and he is doing it well. Yeah. Look, these kids are, and, and you know, this is good data for both. Both teams to have, right? Bob Zine outgunned on his feet, but good golly, he was working them over on top. So it's, you know, they, they're obviously looking at that in the Buchanan corner. That concludes our 108 pound match. Get the armor. Winner by major decision, Rockland Lincoln. Okay, we got 115 pounds coming up right now. We have Chris 